This video will demonstrate how to use the WordPress post thumbnail feature to output posts uh, in a way that you can just represent them with a thumbnail image rather than their entire contents. Uh, so you can see here I've got a particular category where I'm doing just that and each of these represents a post. If I click on them you can see that the content within each post is more than just that single thumbnail image but for each post I'm just representing it with a single image uh, this is opposed to if for example I just used my default blog template to display them they'd look something more like this so this is something that's quite common to use on something like a portfolio website where each of these might represent a project and you use a single image as the representation of that project in, in the sort of category overview page. So the first thing we need to know if I go and look at the WordPress codex page on post thumbnails is that this feature is something that we have to enable for our theme and the way that we do that is to insert this bit of code here into our functions.php file. And if I jump over to Dreamweaver, you can see that's exactly what I've done here. So essentially, it's just this one function add theme support post thumbnails. And that's wrapped within an if statement which detects if the version of WordPress that is installed actually supports this feature. So this is a feature that's only been in WordPress since version 2.9 so it's always good to put that if statement in there so that you're not trying to enable it on an older version of WordPress that doesn't support that feature. So that's the first step to enable the post thumbnails by putting that bit of code in your functions.php file. And once you've done that, if I jump over to the admin section of my site and I create a, a new post, you'll see that now there's this module in the new post page uh, where you can set a featured image. So that will only appear once you've put that code in your functions.php file. So once we've done that, uh, as you can see, I've already put a bunch of posts in here, uh, but I can show you the process uh, to do that again is really quite simple. I can just uh, in insert another image into this post by uploading it. So let's go for this elephant image. So that's uploaded and I can choose to insert this into my post or just save the changes but the important thing to note here is this link next to insert into post which says use as featured image and once I click on that you'll notice down here that it shows up in the featured image module. Now I'll just put the alt text in here because that's always good to have. And even though I don't need to insert it into the post to use as the featured image, in this case I'm going to do so. There it is. So I've got my large version in the post and also my featured image down here. I'm going to save this under the photography category and I will put a title in here and publish. And if I go over here and refresh my page then I can see 
that it's come up and it's using that thumbnail image. So this is obviously already set up, but let's have a look at the uh, template code that I use to create this. So going back over to Dreamweaver, I can see here's my WordPress installation and my theme folder. Uh, because I want this to happen only on the photography category, I've created myself a new template file called category-photography.php. And I started this file by essentially duplicating the index file because it already had a bunch of the stuff I wanted in it, like the uh, WordPress loop and the header and the footer. I've gotten rid of the sidebar, and I've retained the WordPress loop, but instead of outputting the content, the only thing I really changed was this line here. So this is how we actually output the post thumbnail. And it's by using this function here called the underscore post underscore thumbnail. And in between the parentheses here, there's a few ways you can specify it. You can set predefined sizes, but the way that offers the most flexibility is to define your width and your height like this. So you write array and then an opening and closing parentheses, uh, the width followed by the height value. So you can see my thumbnails are outputting to fit within a 250 pixel by 250 pixel square. Now we should be able to change these values here and see the thumbnails output at a different size. So let's say I change it to 200 by 200. Now you can see when I refresh the page, it automatically outputs them at that new size. So I'll set that back to how I had it because I've already figured out my styles to make that look nice. And after that, all you really have to do is create the styles to make these posts lay out like this. So as you can see, if I inspect this with Firebug, these are all just divs, and it's the way that I've styled them that outputs them like this. I've taken advantage of the body class function, which outputs, amongst other classes, the fact that this is in category photography, and I've used that to create specific styles in my style.css file to set the styles of these posts on that particular category. So for first of all for the main content I've set the width so that it fills up the width without having that sidebar. I've set a specific color and margin for the heading 2 and these styles here represent the post itself so I've given a margin, background color, padding, uh, I've given it some shadow and border radius uh, and importantly I've used float left to make them appear side by side in a grid rather than one underneath the other. And that's pretty much all there is to using post thumbnails. Now, if I go back to my admin section again, you'll notice that you don't necessarily have to use an image that's in the post. I could, if I wanted to, use a completely different image here. I can click on this and, and change the image, upload a different image. Um, I can delete this image from the post. And update that and so have no image in the post itself. 
but still have the thumbnail image representing that post. So that's useful as well if you want an image to represent the post that isn't that you don't necessarily want to have in the content of the post, the full post when it's displayed. So here you can see that same image is no longer in the content of the post. It's just text and it could be whatever else I want to put there. So that's post thumbnail. So just to recap the process of that, first of all, adding this code here into the functions.php file, which enables the post thumbnail functionality in your theme. Then obviously actually uploading and including a featured image within your post is the next step. And finally, in whichever template file you wish to output it is, so I could have easily done this in the index.php file if I'd wanted to, but in this case, I just want to apply it to a category and this specific category. So in here, within the WordPress loop, I just have to use, instead of the content or the excerpt or any of those other functions I might normally use, I'm using this function here called the post thumbnail. And I'm specifying the dimensions of that thumbnail here by declaring this array with a width and a height value. And then finally, creating the CSS styles to style the posts so they lay out how you want. And that's it. That's how you use post thumbnails.